Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will have a walkthrough. No, I will teach you on how to create a countdown timer in Microsoft Visual Basic 6 or Classic Visual Basic 6. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers silent viewers and supporters in my channel thank you for watching my videos if you are new with my channel and then you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button so let's begin i will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code of our tutorial video for today for free in my two websites you may click the notification bell so that you will be notified with manually uploaded video okay so we have here a form and then i named the form countdown timer in visual basic 6 or microsoft visual basic 6 i have a button start a label and then the timer here so a label here we have here h for hours mm for minutes and ss for seconds so here in the text box i set one minute no as a default when I double click the start button, we have here the code. Now let us go with the on the top. On the top here, I, de I declare option explicit, private, m stop as date. Okay. Pr uh, private sub start click, and then I have several declaration here. Dim fields as string, hours as long, minutes as long, second as long. So here field split the text back text duration that text colon we split with hours minutes and seconds so we have here the field one for hours uh, field one will be minutes field zero rather in hours seconds field field two so minutes uh, m underscore stop time now the current time and then the we have here the, the uh, date add hours for h and then date add now. Uh, for minutes and seconds here timer wait enable it is true and then for the timer here we have declaration also we have your uh, dim time now as date dim hours as long minutes seconds as long so time underscore now the current date or time uh, if time now is greater than time stop time me the current form window state minimize timer enabled false and then the remaining uh, caption we default with zero zero else we have here the, the time now difference seconds minus now conditional statement here divide the minutes in hours and minutes and then the label it will display now using uh, format dollar the hours minutes and seconds in f and n sub as I said earlier guys, I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code of our tutorial video for today for free in my two websites. Let us click the start button here. So when I start here, it will click the start button. It will start with uh, one minute. Okay. So, so it will continue. No? So we'll, let us start. Uh, stop. Okay. When we run. Let's say we will have, instead of 1 minute, let's say 3 seconds here. Ah, uh, no. Move here. 3 seconds, for example, start. Okay, 1, 0. Okay, it will stop the execution of our program. So, again, now, let's say, for example, we want to have 5 minutes. Okay. So, when we click the uh, start button, it will start by uh, by five minutes now uh, countdown okay so it, let's see for example one hour and then zero here one hour when you click the start button it will start counting one hour countdown okay okay guys so this is the end of our tutorial video on countdown timer in Microsoft visual basic 6 programming language thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you have learned something new in this tutorial video don't forget to like share and please support my channel guys if you're new be clicking the subscribe button see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend jake saying bye bye for now